This is the Bermuda Triangle, a place where people, ships, entire airplanes have gone missing. A lot of times because of this weather. My goal is to spend 24 hours here and see if these legends are actually true. And I guess if they are true, I'll disappear as well. And this is our final goodbye. Anyways, I should probably tell you, I have been terrified of the Bermuda Triangle ever since I was just a little air rack. I remember hearing myths of giant whirlpools and man-eating sea monsters and I was like, nope. But today all that changes. I flew all the way across the country to face my fears and spend 24 hours in the Bermuda Triangle. By the way, this very expensive video was made possible by my friends over at Current. So thank you, Current, the future of banking. I love you guys. Before we went to the Bermuda Triangle, we still needed one more thing. So that's your life raft. This is me right here. This is your line. Okay. When you jerk, you're gonna deploy the life raft. Life raft is gonna explode. When the life raft explodes, you jump to the life raft, then you swim away. Can you get all that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> This is the part where I have to go into the middle of the ocean, I guess. It's uh, It's gotten really real at this point. Large sea animals, my worst fears. That is so scary. What's scarier, a great white shark or a giant squid? Giant squid, 100%. I'm gonna be sleeping tonight. Thick tentacle wraps around me, pulls me down to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I was terrified, but I knew one man who wasn't. Is that Mr. Iraq? This is me, what's up, baby? We are your Bermuda Triangle Uber. How you doing, man? Nice, nice to meet you. you. This is Ryan, the man willing to take us to the Bermuda Triangle. Some call him the god of the sea, and I believe them because Within five minutes, he had a giant fish in my hands. This is the biggest fish I've ever seen with my eyeballs. If this is what we're catching, inland, I'm terrified to know what's out there. Ah! So where are we right now? We're in Papano Beach. We're gonna go straight out, and then we're gonna reach the Bermuda Triangle. Sometimes people don't come out. What are the odds that uh, we don't come out? This bottle flip right here. We're gonna die. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we're on our way to the Bermuda Triangle. I think this is the part where we start playing Pirates of the Caribbean. You want me to play Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. <laughs> Locals were warning us that the ocean was rough, and they were right. You ever seen it that dark? I've lived here my whole life. I've never seen it that dark. That's like purple, bro. At this point, I was basically deceased, but we had arrived at the Bermuda Triangle. We're way out there right now. We're about 30, 40 miles offshore. Uh, I feel like we set up camp. Let's do it. This yeah. is everything that I need to stay alive for the next 24 hours and we're throwing it off the boat in three, two, one. Oh! So that's my house. This is my backpack with some clothing. Somebody start the freaking clock. Survival starts in three, two, one. Bye guys. Bye. Just in case you don't survive, you still want me to post this video? Yeah, we have to stay on schedule. Right now the viewers don't know if you're gonna die or not yet. So stay tuned. Oh, bro, I'm so sick. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Already? What? You've been out there for five minutes. Yeah, that was uh, that was quick. Okay, let's see if I can not puke long enough to give you guys a little tour here. I don't know what this is. We got like a chimney, safety knife. I'm gonna throw up. God, dude. <coughs> <coughs> got batteries, flashlight, emergency ration. I think this is food. This is just block of food. Ugh. Okay, three, two, one. Ugh. Flares, emergency drinking water. But basically, this is just a giant floating tent. Dude, it is so eerie out here. Like, there is nothing around us. And while I was puking my brains out, the boys had a different problem. So he's out there, we're here, what are we gonna eat? Well, we bought a bunch of stuff this morning and this is what it looks like. <laughs> oh my god, that smells like bro. There's a dead fish in there too. There's dead fish. I thought we could keep the food in there and keep it dry, but one of the plugs came out, so it flooded full of water. Okay, so how, how are we gonna eat? Uh, we're gonna fish. The Bermuda Triangle is officially living up to its name. We've got a killer looking storm coming in over here. So I'm going to zip the tent up. All the water is just piling up in the middle, so everything is just soaking wet. It's kind of like wearing wet socks, except it's covering your whole body for 24 hours. And luckily, the boys had hatched a new plan for food. Oh, he's right here, look, look, look. Right, right here, watch out, watch out. Come here, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Winner, winner, monster dinner. Go! Oh. There's dinner, boys, baby. Look at my finger. Look at my finger. No, 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 no. Okay, we have a situation here. Give me the knife. I'm gonna get this hook out of his mouth. All right. All right. All my adrenaline's pumping. I need to get this out before it really hurts. All right. Oh, Eric has the knife on the raft, bro. What's up, boys? You have something that we need. Okay. We're gonna need your knife. Why? Show me here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut that out of here. 
Holy shit. I, I have a knife. I have a safety yeah. knife. Thank you. Yeah. That's actually great. Oh! Oh, my oh! God. It's out. That was not fun. Crazy enough, this wouldn't be our only tragedy at sea. But halfway through the challenge, I started to understand the gravity of what I was doing. The sun is finally setting over there, which means that the first 12 hours of this are over, but potentially the scariest 12 hours is just about to begin. I think the main reason I wanted to do this challenge is because as you guys probably know from the videos, there's not a lot of things that I'm like super scared of. I'm pretty adventurous. I'm pretty down to try things, but something that has <laughs> always scared me is this open ocean being stranded in the middle of nowhere. It almost happened to us in another video where we stole Mr. Beast's Island. We ended up stuck 200 miles off the coast of America and were lucky to be found. Maybe the fear from that is what made me feel like doing something like this was important. Sea monsters, sharks, whatever the F is down there. That is scary. But what is even scarier is regret. I don't want to die not having uh, faced my fears, not having tried this. So here we are in the middle of the ocean. We came a little unprepared today. Other than not having any food, we don't have a lighter either. But we do have some flares because this life raft came with some flares. We're gonna light up a flare and get the grill fired up that way. Alright, we're lit. We're lit. Ditch it. We're lit. Cook <laughs> from the ocean. Oh, it's so good. No way. I'm oh, keeping this. <laughs> Cheers. Let's go. There you go. Good, boys. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, Bermuda Triangle is not so bad. <laughs> it's kind of nice. And now that I had just a little bit more energy, it was time to face my fears head on. It's 10 p.m. right now. I'm going to try to go to bed in a minute. The biggest reason that we came out here and did this was because I had this ridiculous fear of the Bermuda Triangle. I feel like my final step in overcoming that is just jumping into it in the middle of the night. Who knows what's in there? Great white shark, giant squid, three-headed monster. You guys give me like a chant to peer pressure me into doing this? Eric, Eric, right, Eric, good. Good Eric, 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 Eric. Oh my God, this is terrifying. <laughs> that is so scary. Okay, new man. Let's go. Here we go. Hey. I hate to do this to you. Yeah. Uh, you can't stand there. Go back on the raft. You're All not right. wanted here. Oh, okay. I guess I'm just gonna lay down in this water and see if I can fall asleep. I don't know when I'll see you guys next. Finally, it was time to get some sleep. Little did I know that wouldn't last very long. Uh, All right, it's five o'clock in the morning. I've been hearing this helicopter for like an hour. Oh my gosh. There's a helicopter right there. Oh my gosh. I just woke up to a hellstorm. Yo, we gotta pull you in. There's literally like two oh police boats coming on right now. What a thing to wake up to. Dude, he's Holy calling he's going like 70, bro. Here we go. Border Patrol, local police, and Coast Guard were racing towards our boat, thinking that we were trying to illegally sneak into the United States. Border Patrol is legally allowed to unbolt all your shit and they don't have to put it back. You're really You're <laughs> Oh, hell. Oh, Keep the cameras oh, low. Oh my people. god, that's, Keep the cool. yeah, that's what's going on. You guys uh, stressed? No, we're all right, man. We're just filming an episode for a show where it's like, what does it take to survive? Where are you coming from? Let's let's talk. Video. What's in the bag? Uh, those are the survival bags that came with it. There's nothing in there. What's your name of the show? It's called Air Rack. Big Gray Shirt. Where are you born, sir? Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Charlotte, North Carolina. Alright guys, thanks for coming. Hey, thank you so much. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Morning guys. We just threw off a police boat, a coast guard boat, a border patrol boat, and a border patrol helicopter. That was against all odds, boys. <laughs> the sun's rising, the morning is here. Alright, now that we're out of trouble, it is time to try to do some breakfast. As the final moments ticked down, I realized I wasn't so scared of the Bermuda Triangle anymore. But the food was still terrible. We're almost done with the 24 hours. Please, God, get me out of here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go! Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Here they come. Let's go! I'm covered in my own urine, okay? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, we survived in the Bermuda Triangle for 24 hours. We didn't uh, disappear. We didn't disappear. Shout out to this girl for following on Instagram. I'm following back one person every single week. Right That's pretty much it. Oh, I'm leaving. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Ah.
Oh, is it dark? 